Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News. It is May 10th, 2017. And once again, we have some weather reporting, and this is going to be on the west coast of Mexico and also the northern countries in Central America. They have a tropical depression that is now being called Adrian, and this is set to impact the southern coast of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and possibly Panama. Now, this is not a really big wind type of a storm. However, it is very, very full of moisture. The rain situation will be absolutely terrible when this impacts land. There is a current report right now on the Weather Channel, and we're going to go ahead and review this because I do have a lot of subscribers in Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras. I hear from them all the time by email. So hopefully they are prepared and they know that this storm is going to come. Now, we've been talking a lot about weather lately. And the reason being, ladies and gentlemen, our current weather situations around the world, they're not going to get any better. They are actually going to intensify as we move through the month of May and going into the month of June. So we're going to go ahead and listen to this tropical depression alert for these following countries. Look what we have in the East Pacific right now. This is a tropical depression. Remember, we were talking about this invest that we had. It was an area of investigation. Well, now it's been determined that, look, this is, this is a tropical system. It's not quite a tropical storm yet. It hasn't been named, but it's forecast to become one. And uh, when it does get named, when it probably does get named, I should say, it will be Tropical Storm Adrian. But right now, this is Tropical Depression 1E, very, very early in the season for this um, in the East Pacific to be uh, having a storm. Right now, the wind's at about 35 miles an hour, and it's Moving toward the west-northwest, a lot of the forecast models are in agreement that this is going to make a turn toward the east. After that, well, it could go down into parts of Central America. It could go into uh, southern Mexico. This is not going to pose a threat to the, the United States, but there is a lot of terrain in all of these areas, and there's going to be a lot of rain with this system. In fact, look how much rain we're forecasting. Uh, through Sunday. By the time we get to the weekend is when you're really going to start to feel the effects of this storm. I think we're going to have some flooding. I think we'll have some landslides and mudslides, which are usually the biggest problems in those areas. Um, with well, ladies and gentlemen, if any of you live in these areas of the southern tip of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and also including Panama, I hope that you are paying attention to your weather forecasts because when this storm rolls in, this is going to be a huge rainmaker. As the meteorologist was stating, the rain will intensify. And this is a very, you know, they do have a lot of terrain here. The, the event of uh, the mudslides and the landslides, I mean, they do have these types of situations in these Central American countries. But with this amount of rain, and the saturation that has already occurred over the past month. The situation can get very bleak very, very quick. Now, a lot of people think that, once again, what does this have to do with Planet X? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as I've mentioned many times before, this has everything to do with Planet X. Not sightings in the skies of planets and things that shouldn't be there, but it is changing our weather we started seeing these weather anomalies this past winter when we were having 60 degree temperatures in the northeast and absolutely frigid temperatures in the central part of the united states near the canadian border we had weather anomalies all around the world for the entire winter and as i have mentioned before leading into the beginning of may through the whole month of may of 2017 we were going to have the beginnings of some very, very wild weather. We've already seen the catastrophic flooding in the central part of the United States and around the world. So ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to end. If anything, this is going to intensify and this has the ability to intensify so rapidly, literally overnight within hours. 
So make sure that you are staying up to date with all of your local weather, no matter where you live on the face of this earth. This is Scott from Planet X News. Thank you for watching.